complicated songs. Like from that Nimai of Nadia movie. It's a very nice movie, but the music is really advanced. So we like, we can take a little bit of it and slow it down and things like that. And how about the others only? Like, I remember three or four persons said it was okay, but there's more people logged in, right? Yes, uh, Mother Christina also said that I'm singing great and feeling the bliss afterwards. So feeling the bliss, yeah. <laughs> got feedback from about five people. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. First you have to get the reading right and then... More questions? Okay. Uh, is there a question? Yes. Okay, let's go for the question. Okay, so there was a question let me look up, from Mother Swati. Uh -huh. While doing dandavats in front of the deities, why is it done sideways and not completely facing them? I have no clue. And I asked this to Babaji also, and he said, I, I don't know if, what the particular reason. It's like it's done that way. He, he, I have. Uh, you have a reason? Ha yeah, I've asked some people about this, uh -huh. and uh, the reason I've got is that if you do it facing the deities, then usually your feet will be pointing towards the devotees, and that's disrespectful towards the devotees. So uh -huh. you do it sideways so that your feet aren't pointing at the devotees or the deities. That's okay. how someone explained well, it to me once. That sounds good. And why? Do you know why the left side? No, I don't know why the that's left side. The, that's the hardest. Because we, you're already standing at, at the left side and you're doing the RT, so it's like... You cannot cross to the other side or something. Yeah, because you have to stand on the... The RT, what, what Ananda Vardhana does every day, has to be on the left side. So probably it has to do something. It's related. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to go to the other side. And <laughs> to cross back to the other yeah. side and then offer obeisances. Yeah, that's a good explanation. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Another question from Mother Swati was, is it okay to mix artificial flowers with real flowers while decorating the deities? Well, no, not really. Not really. The, sta the original standard or it's natural, everything's natural. All the ingredients, I don't know if you have been in, in a arati ceremony, Mother Swati, or anyone in the chat. Uh, we do a very simple, very simple, uh, there's, there's a much more complex ceremony that we can do. We've done uh, several times uh, bathing the deities. And when you experience this, this, this thing live, it's like, oh, so nice and pure. And uh, I think you should share your experience because you had it very recently, oh. Ananda Vardhana. When you came to Santiago, right? Yeah. You, you came and there was a bathing ceremony. So please pass the mic. I did share it on the forum once, I believe. Oh, How about this? Share it online. Uh, and also while explaining, you can comment because Mother Swati was saying that she saw artificial flowers in the altar. So you can clear that up. What? A bunch? Blue. Oh, she didn't okay. Oh, no, that's not artificial. I pick the flowers every day. So fresh. Well, you can't say they're fresh because it's winter time, so I, I, I pick what's, uh, what's available. So, but it's not artificial. But um, for, for example, if uh, the, uh, they don't smell like flowers, if there's no uh, inside, uh, f a fragrance, aroma, aroma yeah. then uh, what you can do is, the trick is, um, you can use uh, rose water and you can sprinkle on them so so the aroma will be there so that's the whole trick if uh, if there's no fragrance but uh, uh, the flowers are not uh, artificial again what was the other question oh the experience yes, yes the experience um, of a live art yeah it, it's very pure actually it's very pure and purifying when you are just uh, watching it and even the next morning this was uh, the actual experience I had the next morning when I came into the kitchen and uh, it was, uh, I could feel the, the, the purity in the kitchen because you had to wash the... the um, Paraphernalia? Yes, oh. you had to 
and uh, it was uh, like I, I can't explain it, but <laughs> uh, but once uh, we're at Mother Swati's house, we, uh, everyone can experience that actually. So it's yeah. very nice, very pure, and I never experienced such a purity before, actually. Yeah, so. yeah it's very pure, and the, the whole idea of, of the offering is that you're giving, you're offering your love to, to the deities, to the Lord. So you want to express this love in the purest way possible. So you try to get the best incense, the, the nice ghee, purified butter. Uh, everything should be nice and fresh like that. Even flowers who have not, that have no scent is not recommended. In this case, because we're like in extreme condition. <laughs> but, but the same thing is like you wouldn't give someone a, an artificial flower as a gift. Even in material world, artificial flowers are more, more towards adorning or like that. But in this case, I think it's better to have everything nice and fresh, if we can. I mean, that's the best. Next question, please. Yes. There's a question from Mother Christina. What is Kanai Das wearing around his legs? Uh, is it to support the back? What are you wearing, Kanai? <laughs> Ski pants. <laughs> because we go skiing and no way. Because it's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think she might. She's talking about the blanket wrapped around. It looks like some kind of support. It's just it's because it's cold. It's cold. We have the fire going, so that's pretty. It's very helpful. But I mean, it was snowing yesterday. It's really bad. Even today. So let's go for Vishnu Sahasrana. One more question. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Question from Ronald. Who are the two dancing deities? Is it Radha and Krishna? No. Just leave him the camera and show you, properly. You can answer, please. Go ahead. You can talk about God. Or you should answer. You're the deity. <laughs> Yeah, assume the camera. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, oh, but each. Well, okay. Yeah, it's nice to show the the feet, everything. Yeah. They the, have, they're far away, you know. Yeah. So give them association. Okay, so now please explain. Well, this is Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda. On the left hand side, is Lord Nityananda, and on the right side, Lord Chaitanya. And um, as uh, everybody knows, Lord Chaitanya came in the mood of uh, Radha. And uh, the ex external form is gold, right, molten gold. And th this is uh, basically the color of Ra Radha Rani. And internally, he came as Krishna. So, and he came down to, uh, to experience the nectar of, um, of love, the highest love, the, hi the highest bhava what uh, Radharani is experiencing all the time. So, and uh, as you can see on the right hand side, there is a picture of uh, Radha and Krishna, if you can zoom in. Oh, you can see it really, right? A little bit. It's yeah. too inclined. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. on, on okay. an angle. Yeah, that's Radharani and Krishna. So Krishna with the fluids and Radha, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it from here, she is holding her hands, her palm, facing towards us, and basically she's blessing us. Because uh, what we do, we ask Radharani to help us in our devotional service, to increase our love for Krishna. Let me turn the picture so they can see. Is that good? Yeah, yeah that's better. Yeah. As you can see, right there. So this is Radharani and Krishna. Very beautiful. But um, we are not encouraged to worship Radharani and Krishna at, uh, at the beginning stages because um, they do take offenses like the Hare Krishna mantra. So, and, uh, but uh, Lord Nitya Guranga, Nityananda and Guranga, they don't take any offenses. So whatever service we provide, whatever service we do, whatever we, service we even think, they, they do accept it. 
and uh, with no offenses. There is, uh, unless uh, you are very, very offensive, but uh, they are very merciful. Does that answer the question? There's a question from Prasad. What is the daily routine at the ashram, Uddhava Prabhu? Well, this, what is the daily routine? At the ashram, yes. Okay. Um, basically is wake up, take a bath, chant uh, Aryan Kavacha, then chant rounds, and then according